See, I did all my stunts. I did, I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did. Uh, and then... Tom, Tom Cruise over here? No, no. I'll be the first me, not the next Tom Cruise. Thank Ooh. you very much. Wow. Ten years. We can keep that's it? Picking up where we left off. And, and, uh, you you know, about to hear my take. Friends, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Especially. <laughs> no, not with me, though. No? We're not going to... Well, I mean, I'd say it's just anymore? started and also probably... You're not going to return my... <laughs> I found my daddy with panther claws in his chest. You ain't the son of a king, you're a son of a murderer. Hey, auntie. Why so serious? Now, we come here not as conquerors, but as liberators to return control of this city to the people. With great power comes great responsibility. Off the Top Podcast, of course, I'm your host, Bushido Spirit. And here we have Mo. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everyone? I've been renaming myself as of recent, you know? People call me Mo. From this day forth, you'll be calling me Cheeks. What's up, people? All right, and we got a dirty-ass, light-skinned nigga Marcel. You're not cute. Oh, uh, okay, see? Dirty, see? You see, there was no dirty, need for that. Right? Now, <laughs> there was no need for that. All uh, right, let, 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 let's, let's get started, Mr. Cheeks. This nigga, at Co- he had Coachella being a flashlight cop and shit, man. The fuck out of here. Marcel, no, no. Hey, I got, I got no, into I'm Coachella a- for free. I saw shows for free, <laughs> and I left. That nigga in the way, way back. That nigga need binoculars to see the stage. No, and shit. no, no, no. no. I, I was, I was a security guard, and what I used to, and what I did was, I had a, uh, a walkie-talkie on my hip, so I pulled a walkie-talkie to my mouth and pretend there was a fight, like on front stage, <laughs> and I'll run through the crowd, and I'll be at the front of every concert. See, this Hold on, you, you this, a security guard? This is where your I tax was, dollars is going to, man. This nigga getting free oh concerts. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 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 imagine, I'm, I'm imagine Marcel, he, he had been doing his cardio, like a nigga run too fast uh, and shit. He tried to hit him with a key blast long distance. Uh, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like you try to hit real boost from Ninja Storm off there how many times you played that game, man. Like, boy, when I tell you, boy, I walk through the crowd like, excuse me, there's a fight. Oh, my God. I'm going right to the front. <laughs> No, I just think this thing a swing at you. You try to substitute you. Look, any, shit. Anyway, let's, let's talk about some real fights. So apparently uh, this happened two days ago. So the, yep. the cast of the Avengers are doing a press, you know, the press junket, the press tour. They're doing a lot of mm-hmm. interviews. So in this interview, according to people on the Internet, uh, Brie Larson and Chris Hemsworth get into an argument, like a little small fight. So let's go ahead and play this video. And I want to get y'all thoughts on that. You're gonna be my translator? Yeah. Trans- <laughs> you might not understand her. Is she laughing? Is she laughing? <laughs> <laughs> she's saying right now. Now, I think this, this has is been the, the full most interview. interesting day of my career because I legitimately. You know, because I wanted to add context to this. I want to make sure that we <clears throat> got everything right here. Hopefully, this is the full, the full thing. Just the right like, thing. might as well throw these away because there's nothing we can talk about. Yeah. Most yeah. secretive movie of all time. Yeah. At this point, is this secretive nature just second nature to you guys or is it still tough look once they break one finger <laughs> you kind of understand <laughs> don't talk just don't do yeah. it <laughs> and they're like we got nine more of those you're like i got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Bree, you're the newest to it and i feel like you have come in very strong i mean you have come in very strong breaking a billion dollars at the box office yeah. it's the first Damn. female superhero lead yes oh well, no oh, no yeah. killing it yeah. she but broke a billion have you found the secrecy Second nature, or uh, how many toes did you have? Broke? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, with the Captain Marvel fresco, it was harder because I knew that movie. She forgot one to one. I don't really know what the wow. movie is at all, so I just feel like more, way more relaxed on this tour <laughs> than the others. So you're better off not to know. Um, yeah, it feels better, and it was just something I kind of took on earlier, which is if I did sort of know something, I just d- would delete it from my brain so that I didn't ever have to feel like I was lying to people. That's a good one. Is there one person that you do tell the secrets to? Why would we point you in no their one? direction? No <laughs> one? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can go, like, interrogate them. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, what's their address, what's their phone number? Like, are they in this room? No. You, you don't tell anyone? Them if you were going to bribe them. No. Yeah. <laughs> Do they like Kate? Yeah. <laughs> so, is there anyone? You don't have to tell me who, but do you tell one person or no one? Like, literally yeah. no one. I didn't. I also I went, my, my first okay. day, my first day on set, I, like, journaled about it. Uh-huh. And I, like, couldn't do it. I couldn't even bring myself to, in my own journal, write about it because I was scared. Like, what if Can I you pause this for a second? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. The spy yeah. yeah just, a, just a general side note. I always find it really weird when these interviewers do this thing, right? Where they're like, oh yeah, I know that I know that you just met me, 
and I know we're not friends, right? But can you please, please break your NDA and give me a hot news title? I'm going to need you to spoil, <laughs> spoil this fucking movie. And I'm like, well, why are you even trying, though? You know what I'm mean, saying? How many times does this work? Like, I don't understand. I mean, that's, I mean, the effort, that's that's the point, though. I mean, it's, it's worth the try. Sure, you know? but like, but like, it's, it's worth it. the try to your ass get fucking How many times charged. does this work, though? How many times well, it, it, don't, work, it don't like, matter how many times it works. It's just about getting that one viral clip, and that makes you blow up, man. So you got to do it. Oh, you got to yeah. be consistent no, no, no. with it, man. So keep oh, don't get don't get me wrong. I'm talking about like okay, the entire point of this interaction is we're trying to get to the point where she says something that ruffles people's feathers, or you know the big the big steamy hot hot like thing. I'm talking about yeah. interviewers the enter an interview knowing everybody in that room except for you has signed an NDA where they can't legally talk about the stuff that they filmed in this movie so why would they decide right then and there this stranger that's entire job is to get the next headline they're gonna tell it to you like they're gonna tell you what's gonna happen <laughs> in endgame like i don't understand look i mean stranger yeah. things have happened during these types of interviews man and, and it's all about getting getting something to happen you know because these things are usually boring and nobody really watches these things unless Something controversial happened. So, oh my god, they spend the whole video talking about, <laughs> oh yeah, how hard was it to put on that muscle mask for this superhero movie? Like, yeah, yeah, eat vegetables, eat chicken breast, and you walk out all day. Man. Is the movie, bro. That's it. Uh, I mean, so far so good. They seem to be friendly with each other. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where yeah. the controversy when this shit starts. This, this shit low key look like a cuck relationship. Let me just put that out there. Continue. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> it do look like yo <laughs> Don Cheeto black ass dicking down Brie Larson and Chris Hemsworth watching <laughs> yeah, being his dick in the quiet. <laughs> it, it don't really make sense because Chris Hemsworth is like bigger than uh, Don Cheeto so it don't, it don't make sense well, Don, but Don Cheeto's black so I mean yeah, <laughs> we got superpowers that, 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 that counteracts the, the muscle mass man <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, being black, <laughs> the melanin man, we we superhuman. Though. Obviously trained really hard for Captain Marvel. I'm sure you all saw the jeep pushing oh, situation. Way. On set yeah. she did stuff. Like, it was pushing jeeps. You really yeah, did. yeah, she did. <laughs> Captain, Captain Marvel swore, man. Okay, so okay, okay, so here's supposedly the part right here. Right. Uh, I did all my stunts. Thing. I did. I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did. Uh, and then... Tom, Tom Cruise over here. No, I'll be the first me, not the next Tom Cruise. Thank you Ooh. very much. Wow. Ten years. We can keep that's it. Picking up where we left off, and we've, uh, you, you know, about to hear my take. Friends, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Especially. <laughs> no, not with me though. No, we're not gonna. Well, I mean, I'd say it's just anymore. started, and also probably ended. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him about a wrinkle in time. It wasn't made for him. This is it in the movie. <laughs> I did. I thought she was saying that. <laughs> I still agree, by the way. I like this one. Is that like a personal attack or something? Is that a request? Why do you need to know? You know what? You know what this was. You know what this was. Yo, <laughs> this, this was just this was just stupid, bro. Like they, they just she All she right. she dumped him. Right. She she this nigga tried to shoot his shot where they get out of. Here. All right. All right, this is what's about to happen. Let me let me let me stretch my back to make sure I can get this out correctly. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I'm not even about to say anything like crazy. I'm just about to say some regular that, people. That, that noise. Every, you know you know what people expect out of me? I've realized this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. a little easier to frame people as characters than actual people. Bush knows this better than anybody else. It's easier to frame you yeah. as a character than it is to frame you as a person. Exactly. So everyone expects me to do a particular type of thing, even involve subverted expectations. <clears throat> and so... Yeah, I'm going to take the stunts that you expect me to, but the reason I come to this conclusion is going to be completely different to what you expected. Okay, let's hear it. Okay. So, okay. why is that? All right. Obviously, I think this is some bullshit. Okay. <laughs> but I don't think it's some bullshit because, yes, Brie Lawson's standing up to everybody. She's against the establishment. She's against white dudes. <laughs> She's fighting the good fight. Yes, let's go, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel 2. Let's get that sequel out before Endgame comes out. So, that's not me. That's not what I'm doing right now. 
The thing I am doing on the other hand is, is I'm calling people's bullshit. What ended up happening was, was that people got mad about some shit that nobody had any business getting mad about in the first place. And now they found another thing that they can latch onto and cry about later. That's what it is. They're just crying. <laughs> a whole bunch of people crying about some shit that is not even tear worthy, to be honest with you. Yeah. Like, Chris Hemsworth is not emblematic of every white dude ever. He's Chris Hemsworth. He said something that she didn't like, and she just she said, nah, fam. And I don't know about you guys, right? But I've said some shit like that to my friends before. I said I said way worse shit than that. And niggas aren't out here speculating about, are they really friends anymore? <laughs> are they even boys? Are they really cool? Nigga, like, what, what, what is up uh... with you, man? Like, look, this man, Chris Hemsworth has nothing to worry about. Do you see that suit, nigga? Do you see a suit he's wearing? Yeah, that yeah, suit that's is nice. That's a, that's a, that's a nice fucking suit. You think suits like that and have, have, have shit to cry about when they get home? <laughs> that's man, that's look, a nice suit. Look up his, his wife is a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, his wife is very attractive. His life is very good. You see what I'm saying? As far as I understand from the outside in, right? Okay, okay. Full had a good, Full had a good movie, by the way. That's like the impossible. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. wow. Just, I mean, a lot, a lot of people of, came out and said that they really, they didn't really fuck with the Thor movie because it was too comedic, which uh, Thor's a shit character to begin with to me. These, these niggas, I, these niggas, I, like, oh, I, it, those same people crying about this shit, man. You niggas need a sense of humor, man. Space Viking, man. Like, okay. How can you, you know make that I mean? serious? Look, you know the wildest part about rude. this whole shit for me is, is that a whole bunch of people complaining about why doesn't Captain Marvel smile? Why is she smiling in her own movie? You niggas need to smile right now. Like you niggas frown at every single time she shows up on screen. Like Brie Lawson said something about a white man. I'm a white man. Oh no, I have such a hard life. I can't. <laughs> he said, "Oh no." <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, this bitch Laura Ingram is just in- insulted a dead man. <laughs> like, and, and nobody. No, Laura, Laura, Laura Ingram is a different breed, bro. That's like, just, like, like, I mean, I'm just like, saying that we get that type of shit. Like, it, like, if there was anything to be mad about, it would be something like that, and not just this small shit that was taken. Like, what is? You, you, hold up, like the whole thing here is, is that I say stuff like, "What are we even talking about all the time?" There's plenty to talk about, but the thing to talk about is not necessarily the thing that's getting everybody's attention. It's the conversation around the people that have had, have have, have started this conversation to begin with. This isn't about Brie Lawson hates white dudes. Do you see what I'm saying? This isn't yeah. like this is this is the headline. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this stuff is still garnering mass attention because people people still care to click about this stuff. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a hot yeah. button topic. Hot button topic. When it shouldn't be. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like listen to this. Let me let me just put this out there, right? Uh oh. What Brie Lawson says is not representative of Marvel Studios or what they have said about their own movie. She operates on her own word. She operates on what she wants to say of this stuff. And if Disney, you know what I'm saying? If Disney was in a situation where she was out of line. But but no, that... man, Disney is on this whole SJW campaign and they're they're destroying their own films by going SJW route. Can, can we can we talk about what, something? What right films now? have they destroyed what, by can being we, SJW? Can, we just, can, can I just say some shit right now? I'm I'm not even gonna respond to my own statement right now. Like I'm a my own question. <laughs> Right. You guys respond to this shit, and you can carry this in any direction you want. You can all step. Right, right. Right. I got a lot of straw here's man. A, here's, some, here's some shit I'm about to say, right? Do do you really think that a super mega conglomerate like Disney is looking to take a hard stance that might divide the amount of money that they be made? Do you really think that these people are sacrificing the potential money that they could make, right? Yeah. Sacrifice the potential money to the mm-hmm. because they care about policy and people in a <laughs> capitalist society. Like really, like they're in the business uh, of movie making, and they're in the business of movie making because they're in the business of money making. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Where does policy and poli- like politics come into? Like if if they can use politics to advance their funds, they'll do that. But no, for a fact, the goal there is what. Is it to be politically correct? Is it because they believe in like leftist policy or whatever? No, they want that bread. They want yeah. that money, and that never is... look at it any other type of way. They always are doing whether like they're going where the money is. I mean, that, that's uh, that's that's true because uh, like going back to going back to the Ghostbuster thing. Did uh, did it go? Did Ghostbusters the all female Ghostbusters? That did that do good at the box office or not? I think it did pretty don't... bad. I they're don't remember, bad. but, okay, but so, I'm pretty sure that movie was trash. Yo, so so that did bad, and the very next Ghostbusters, which they which they're talking about right now, is supposedly mm-hmm. going to be one with a, a male cast again. So they're yeah. really since that did bad financially, they're going back to the original shit. 
So that lets you know well, right off the bat that they're no, not on this. But, but I'm, not, I'm not saying an all female Ghostbusters was trash because it was all female. I'm saying no, an all no, female. No, what? Nobody was, said that. Was trash. I no no no. I'm just getting hold, out the hold, way. Hold on, hold on. Let Marcel finish. Let, let Marcel okay, finish. Okay. We can so I, I'm not saying an all female Ghostbusters was trash because it was all female. I'm saying the all female Ghostbusters was trash because of the direction they took the movie. It, Thank it, fuck. It, yes. Yeah. They yeah. they they took yeah. the movie and and the original Ghostbusters was great. Because it it took itself seriously without taking itself too seriously, right? They told jokes and shit, but it was like, oh shit, like the whole world can be destroyed. Let's do this. But we had this funny ass green ghost and shit. With this movie, they were telling, they were trying to tell like Instagram jokes, Snapchat Mm -hmm. jokes. Yeah. Yep. Like like I hate when movies do that. They try to be hip, like they appeal to the kids, and they take a great premise like Ghostbusters, make it all female cast. I'm cool with that. And then they fuck it up. Yeah, I mean, you know, we could, we could, we could, that, that, that turns that's... people off from anything yeah, female-related again. We can hold hands and sing "Kumbaya" later about this shit, but we got, we got, we got to set some ground rules right here, right? Do we really think, like, like, what did you say before, like Bush about the Marcel thing? You said nobody said that. Nobody has to say it, man. Look at the way people respond to certain <laughs> shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this know. is my problem, right? You think the Ghostbusters movie is trash? Cool. You don't like that it exists because it's trash? Cool. But as soon as it connects back to, yeah, so stop putting women in film, like, where, where, does, <laughs> where does that connection come from? You see what I'm saying? I mean, if, the, that, the if, that, was the, if people... that was the thing, they would have been stopped putting white dudes in movies as least. No, they got a lot of bad films no, no, out but, there. I mean, I'm just going off that logic. Yeah. Here's the craziest thing. People format the, the, like, the things that they say around the way that they feel. And people are not very like honest about how they feel to begin with, right? Yeah. So what ends up happening is a lot of the time what you end up hearing from people is is that yeah, Ghostbusters is a terrible movie. Why did they hire any of that those people? Blah blah blah. And it's like, first of all, let's let's talk about this for a second. This script was written before these actors were casted. Do you see what I'm saying? This film was being produced before any of these actresses were involved. Yeah, let's not you know let's, let's not jump into the weeds on Ghostbusters. So we need to get back to the topic at hand. Did I did I get it? Even did um, Marcel even speak on that? Like what actually, what she said, what Brie Larson said. Oh, I mean, I, honestly, honestly, because she she uh she related to Tom. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Chris Hemsworth related it to Tom Cruise, and she says, "No, I want to be my own Tom Cruise." Or she's just something along the lines of that, right? I took yeah. that as she wants to be a name where she's a female and people be like, oh shit, you seen that stunt that she did? Because she did her own stunts. Like, Because we all know Tom Cruise does his own stunts. She doesn't yeah. want to be referred to a man known as Tom Cruise. She wants to be referred to as Brie Larson. And she stood yeah. up for that. And I respect it that she stood up for that. And and I, and I, I don't I want her to be in the too. shadows yeah. of of Tom Cruise because that she she doesn't want to be in the shadows. Now, of Tom uh, what what are you, what are your thoughts on people saying that you know he was just joking? Why does she take it so serious? How do you feel about that? I mean, I mean, if you if you make a joke about a woman about a woman, a woman. like <laughs> about a woman being like a, a big superstar and you joke about it, then she must have felt in that point in time that she wasn't being taken seriously and she didn't like that. Obviously, like yeah. she's going on her way to do these stunts, she wants to be taken seriously, and she's going to do everything yeah. she can to do to to be taken seriously. I think I think there's also a couple things to it. One is I feel like, and I, and I feel like this. So here's the craziest part: like people act like uh, it's exclusive to just her. Like she's just the one that's speaking out, and she's wrong for speaking out. Blah blah. Like for once, like this isn't her. This is the funniest part. This isn't even her <laughs> taking a hard stance for a large group of people. This isn't her advocating for diversity amongst yeah. the, the the panel of interviewers that she sees within the day. This is her fighting for her own. Not even fighting. Yeah, it's fighting, her speaking defending, up for herself. Yeah. yeah, speaking up for herself. That's all it is. It's not about a group of people anymore. So you can't even weave a narrative out of it. It's that regardless of what, what it was motivated by, right? Yeah. It is a person that heard something they don't like and they responded accordingly. Which is perfectly fine, right? If I hear some shit in this call that I don't like, if I feel like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to hear about myself, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, nigga, I didn't like that shit." That's all it is. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay. And that's now, what, she did. what about you know white dudes saying that you know she 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 a little bit too aggressive with the white dudes? She be talking shit about them a lot, and she, <laughs> she that that's that she, whole incel mentality, bro. It's strong she, women telling me what 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 I that is am. The incel mentality. What? Uh-huh. Oh my god, that's that's this is definitely the incel mentality because like 
like it's the shit we were talking about before when we went on that like Ghostbusters tangent. It's like the incel mentality is is that somehow this thing being awful or something that you like and you don't it's like happening men. connects back. <laughs> no, 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 not that. It connects back to because a woman was involved. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's, yeah. That's the, that's the that's the incel mentality. If we removed all the gullies out of this, it would have been fine. You know what I'm saying? Every, like the the poorly directed, poorly written movie that shouldn't have even existed would have been better if there were a bunch of dudes in it. You know? That, that should be like, killing me because uh like the roles that women play in society were created by men. So if you don't like the way they react to this shit or how they act or stereotypically act, then I mean men are to blame for <laughs> that shit to begin with. It's 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 funny, yeah. man. Like if you look deep into it, you would see that that's very flawed thinking. Um, right, right. Exactly. Uh, what, all right. What, what, one other thing here. What about? Um, I had another question I want to ask about this Brie Larson situation here. Um, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I, was on, I had it. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> I had it. Uh, I, will, I, I will say this much, right? One thing I want to kind of end off what I've been saying with is that. Uh, if you want to connect this back to a larger narrative, the only way I really see connecting it back to a larger narrative is that she probably did not like the idea that there's still another man involved in, in measuring her success. You see what I'm saying? It's like ah, it, yeah. undercuts her, it undercuts her achievement by being like, oh yeah, you're like the girl version of this guy that already did the thing that you tried so hard to do. You know what I'm ah, saying? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. It, and to be honest with you, it sounds kind of kind of funky, man. What's up? What's it, up with that? You know, yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's it, like it, I guess it was unintentional. I'm, I'm probably the only person that he could have you know, thought thought, and, thought of or something like that. And that's what it is. Yeah. And that's the craziest part. Like, yes, it was unintentional, but the idea is that she felt a type of way and she wasn't letting it slip. And then they probably they both collectively go over it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like adults. I mean, like yeah, the, yeah. I mean, it's, it was certain things you got to make hard stances on because. Uh, you, you don't you don't want to let that mentality just continue on. It's a little uh, shit, man. It's a little yeah, shit. It, it's a little shit you got to <laughs> you got to check. Uh, I was gonna ask about um, how do you feel about actors in general, you know, putting put their politics in, into um, you know the promotion of the film. Like people were criticizing mm-hmm. Brie Larson for doing. They were like saying, just shut up. You know the whole like the whole shut up and dribble shit uh, we talked about with LeBron. Um, As in, like, what what actor did that? Like, like, I mean, just actors in general, uh, you know, talking about politics during a press tour <laughs> for a film. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure what you mean by politics. When you think when I say politics, what... I mean they're political. Uh, any, they any, any, yeah, yeah. Let, let me reframe this: yeah. anything involving non-white people and women. Oh. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I have to say. You know, politics are this. Like, um yo. so so I mean I feel I feel as if like honestly if if a politician I'm sorry if an actor has a political view that I disagree with that's fine but if they go out of their way to demean somebody or to like reduce somebody because of if like if they're a woman in B- in Brie Larson's case that makes me not like the character in the movie because I know it's being played by this person subconsciously I would want to but I can't. If that makes sense. I wouldn't sense. care. I wouldn't care. The yeah. reason I wouldn't care is yeah. because she's playing the character. She's not writing the character. She still has to yeah. read off somebody's fucking script. Like I don't understand. Like niggas like niggas act like actors make films. They're part of films. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, but they're the face that they don't realize what goes to and how many test runs and and scripts they've thrown out, restarted, thrown out, restarted yeah. that made that went into making. This fucking character, you know, like, Kev, like if it's... Kevin Feige wanted Brie Larson to be preppy, go lucky, happy, smiley, he would have made her be preppy, go fucking lucky. Right, exactly. And now my now my big question is, is that like not even a big question, like Bush, you can you can attest to this. People are like Captain Marvel's unicorn store. You know what I'm saying? They people <laughs> people are like. This is her independent movie she's making by herself, where she influences every aspect well, that, of it. I mean, well, that's what I brought up the uh, the other agenda, like the hidden agenda of Disney to turn us all into SJW. That's why I brought that up because uh, it, it's that they so they kind of understand that she isn't doing the film, but they think Disney is pushing her out there to do that. <laughs> like so, I mean, but yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I agree with that. And uh, th- these SJW films make money, man. Surprise, you know, minorities have money. 
Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. That, that, like, 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 you know how, like, I, Yo. I just don't get it, man. Like, this is, this is the shit that niggas think, man. Like, niggas, like, when they think about stuff like this that don't make sense, they're like, why are you guys getting so mad about a word? We're not talking about a word that I'm mad about. I'm mad that niggas really think that one of the biggest media, like, conglomerates out there, right, <laughs> is really out here caring about niggas' feelings and not money. I don't understand. Like, yeah, what's going they, don't, they, care about, they care about always. Yeah. It's all corporations, first things first, is to increase and maximize the profit margin. My, my thing <laughs> is, when did it change? Because they were, Disney made a lot of racist shit all the way up until, like, the 2000s. When, uh, did, when did they make the switch over to SJW? Because they, re- they, they, they realized black people yeah. spend money. They said black they, people they, spend they money. They realized black people spend money. money. And they realize that 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 matter of fact, I lost my train of thought. Continue. Uh, I mean, that's 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 pretty much it. I I'm, I I don't know if we're gonna give you enough time to get your train of thought back. I'm like, fuck you. Uh, I think uh, I, <laughs> I think we don't well, I mean, enough. I, like, I, I think we should end off with, with what you think. Like, short and sweet, sum it up. How do you feel about this bush? I mean, I, this is a it's a non issue, man. I don't like when I. Was, <laughs> I, I, when I watched the video, I was like, "That's it. Like this, this the argument." I but that's was... but that's what I'm saying. Like I, I always say this. To, <laughs> oh, hold on. I, I got it back. Like... I got it back. I got it back. Go I realized they would lose money if they kept doing that racist shit, and they're just going with the time. They realized right? that if yeah. they stop, like like remember that fucking movie they made with three black ass crows who were smoking cigars and and that misleading was, uh, Dumbo. That was Dumbo, yeah. You yeah, said the name of the movie. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> And they, and they were and they were misleading Dumbo, and yeah. I realized if they did that today, one they'd be like, oh, Disney's canceled. Niggas would not buy the stream. Niggas would still buy the streaming service, but a lot of people would strike Disney, and they would be like, oh shit, we losing hella money. Let's stop being racist, and actually be normal in the eyes of the public. Okay, I got it back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. Yeah, I think this time oh, will change. Yeah. Oh, I'll say one last thing. A lot of the time when we have these videos, notice how these non-issue topics spawn discussion, not because there is an issue here, but because the reaction to it warrants a discussion. Because a lot of the time, it isn't what happened that people got mad about this stupid. It's niggas getting mad about it to begin with. Yeah, like... Uh, I, <laughs> 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 like, I, saw, I, I wanted something... Yo, I wanted something like they just slapped each other. I, like I wanted oh, something yeah. more juicy. I, 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 I wanted to have somebody I, I, say I, I, honky I, I, one time. Say some, I want I was some crazy shit. Oh, I was oh, like, oh, like, I, I want Brie Larson. Brie Brie Larson showed up with an Antifa T-shirt. That's what happened, man. I want to <laughs> say that. And it's huh. funny. It's funny because um because uh Captain America is uh very vocal with his political stances. Uh, so talking about they're how talking he about didn't White like House. It. He, he nigga chilling in the White House and shit, man. Like involved, I don't know. There's, there's a whole yeah, bunch of stuff. Like happening. how he didn't like, how he don't like uh, Donald Trump and how he might uh, cancel Tom Brady because Tom Brady and him are like, like friends or some shit like that. Um, so right. he just did a, he just did a, 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 a interview with uh, the Hollywood Reporter. It's a long ass interview. So, I mean, nobody talking about his situation. So Hey, Chris, Chris Evans could say nigga, man. No. <laughs> yes, he can. no. Yes, he can. No, no. He, bruh, bruh. He saved enough people in those movies to afford three three times he can say nigga. Stop. This is that is it? You know, you know, what, man. Like, listen, this, this, this is why, this is why dog skin niggas don't like us, Marcel, because niggas like you always try to hand out the white boys the, the little nigga card, man. Bruh, bruh. Yeah. And so, Captain America saved you. He can't say my nigga. You know, Mar- Marcel has created at least fifty M and M's in his life, man. This is happening. Uh, nah, nah. See, see created M and M's. I, 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 get, I, get, I give certain white people that the. That, no, you like, don't. It's like, what is happening, Bush? I, I, get, uh, I don't. Look, I don't look, know, man. Bo- like, Bobby Bobby Caldwell. Can I say mean, it who? Bobby no. Caldwell. Bobby Caldwell. Who is that? Who is that? The, the nigga I don't, who I don't made the song. Like what, what, what would you do for love? <laughs> what would you do? for... What would you do for love? I don't think I. Oh, uh-huh. is that that song that everybody that the dude that everybody yeah. think is uh, black already? Uh-huh. Yeah. Bob, Bobby Caldwell, because <laughs> say nigga, he, he, Man, fooled, if he, if he fooled me for nineteen. Years of my life. <laughs> if you say nigga on a song, then I, I I ain't gonna get mad because I don't know. Cause, <laughs> Cause I can't see that he's white. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga that stole the soul of a black a snowflake, person. man. I'm sorry, Marcel nah, Snowflake. You know bruh, that. Nah, bruh, look, look, look. 
I don't like when white people say nigga. But if, if Peter Parker, if I'm falling off a building and Peter Parker saved me, he has <laughs> he has the right to say, all right, my nigga, and then swing away. We literally have, <laughs> we literally have a black Spider-Man. No, he caught nigga. Like, I'm, in the, I, I'm in the white universe, though. I'm in, I'm in the white Spider-Man's universe. Nigga, Miles is in the white universe. Why it going to be a white universe, nigga? What's, what's because it, it, cause it is. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, Stanley, man. Stanley, hey, nigga. <laughs> no. <laughs> he can say Excelsior, but he can't say nigga, man. <laughs> keep saying, keep so saying that word. Yeah, what's wrong with you, man? Turn this show off, man. We're done. Man. <laughs>